Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has released the latest Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11 24H2 as well. And for this month, we get KB5062553, which is our latest security update. Now, because the update is compulsory and mandatory, if we just head to Winver, about Windows, just to see the bold upgrade. For Windows 11 24H2, after the update has been installed, OS Bold is sitting on 26100.4652. Now, first of all, this is a security update and it addresses obviously security issues with Windows 11 24H2. Just a quick overview as to what's happening in that department. We get 77 vulnerabilities that have been patched. Five are critical, that's your highest ranked vulnerability. 70 important, one moderate, one low, and those five critical consist of transient scheduler attacks, Windows imaging component information disclosures, and remote code execution vulnerabilities. So 77 vulnerabilities in total have been patched this month with KB5062553. Now Microsoft has actually rolled out three bug fixes with this security update. The first is a graphics fix where there was an issue occurring only if the June 2025 non-security update, which was this update, KB5060829, is installed where game content apparently might become out of sync with the cursor position after using Alt and Tab to switch away and back from certain games running in full screen exclusive mode when the game resolution doesn't match the desktop resolution. So that's been fixed. And then the update also includes a multimedia fix and it addresses an issue where notification sounds didn't play. Affected sounds included those for on-screen alerts, volume adjustments and sign in. And then we've got a Windows firewall fix and this is actually addressing a known issue which I have posted on previously. The update addresses an issue found in Event Viewer as Event 2042 for Windows Firewall with advanced security. The event appears as config read failed with the message more data is available. So that known issue now is addressed with 5062553. Now, over and above the security fixes and those bug fixes, the security update includes improvements, once again, that were part of this update, KB5060829, which was the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out towards the end of June. And there's quite a lot going on with this update, so I'm just going to go through some key highlights. I'll leave the video for the update um, linked in the description and in the end screen because it included 14 new features, bug fixes and much more as I mentioned. Check the video out for more info. Quick recap. Now first of all, it includes new app defaults in the EEA region. That's rolled out across the board um, this month for Windows 10 and Windows 11. The taskbar now resizes icons to fit more apps when space runs low. So how we do this is we just right click on the taskbar, head to taskbar behaviors and yeah you'll see show smaller taskbar buttons the default is when taskbar is full you can choose never or always but just take note as you can see the taskbar remains the same size it's just the icons that get smaller to fit more icons in as mentioned and i'm going to pop that back to when taskbar is full so at least that's moving in the right direction with some taskbar functionality that was stripped out when Windows 11 was released back at the end of 2021. And the next one is there are text descriptions for the assistive technologies in quick settings. So if we head to our quick settings, accessibility, here you can see there are descriptions for those different features in those different sections, which I actually think is a nice move in the right direction. It also adjusts the indicator pull under taskbar apps to make it wider and more visible. Now, I'm not seeing that yet, and like all new features that roll out in cumulative updates, they are gradually rolling out. So you may see some of these, you may not. Always just keep that in mind. I'm not seeing that, but that should be wider, that pull under those taskbar icons. Now, the next two I'm not seeing, so I'm just going to mention. 
When you share links or web content using the Windows Share window, you will see a visual preview now for that content. And in the Windows Share window, you can select a compression level. I'm still not seeing any of those sharing features and those new sharing features in my region. And it also starts the rollout of a new PC to PC migration tool, which is now bundled in the Windows Backup app. And this also made its way, started making its way into 23H2. And here you can see transfer to a new PC. So your information will be transferred to another PC over the local network. So it's ready when you need it. Now I'll just take note that Microsoft does say this feature is in user testing stage, full version coming soon. So it's not 100% yet. The feature actually isn't complete, but I have posted quite a bit of content on this and that's starting to now appear in the Windows Backup app, being able to transfer information from this PC to another. And then we get some accessibility improvements where there are narrator improvements and voice access improvements, both accessibility features, which is a nice move. And the settings homepage on PCs managed by RT admins now includes cards tailored for enterprise use. So that's a change coming for enterprise PCs. And it also adds the country or region selected during device setup under settings. So if we head to time and language, language and region, here you can see device setup region, country or region selected during device setup, and you can see my region, so, and you can't change that. So that will be, looks like a permanent um, display of that actual language used when you set up your device. And it also fixes Windows search responding very slowly. And over and above that, guys, it also included numerous bug fixes and plenty more. I've just gone over some key highlights. Go check the video out. It will be linked if you would like some more information. And then if you are running a Copilot Plus PC, the release updates the following AI components. Image search, content extraction, semantic analysis. So that's more or less what's new with KB5062553, which is the latest security update for Windows 11 24H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.